what is going on guys daphne elaine here and guys i just want you to take a look at my beautiful little cottage <laughs> no seriously though this video is going to be a little bit different um not too different it's still going to have the whole decorating feel um i wanted to concentrate on um, some landscaping now r i just kind of built this small house just really quickly because um i wanted to kind of have or give you guys the idea of let's say you know you have a really plain um, yard which most of our minecraft uh, fenced in yards pretty much look like this just kind of flat playing nothing to them you know you may even bone mill a couple of trees or whatever and you know but I mean it's still kind of boring so um, I thought I wanted to sh you know I figured actually I would show you guys some really cool ways to kind of liven up your backyard all right so we are going to build a tree it's we're gonna make it really creative here okay so you guys I don't really have a particular way or a technique or anything like that but if you guys will just kind of follow along and I'll try to be you know I'll explain to you as much as I can as to how I build my trees because I've been practicing a bit and um, yeah so anyways first thing I like to do is you know find a good spot so we'll pick this spot over here it's nice and open I kind of like to corner the trees so I'm going to put place a wood plank there. You're going to use any wood plank. I'm going to go ahead and use oak. Uh, let's go ahead and, whoops, not there. Alright, so we're going to put some uh, some more logs right there. And then this, we're going to kind of go up this way. Um, and the way I, okay, let me just kind of slow it down. The way I do this is, okay, we want to leave it even here. So, you know, we've got an even shape right here. Um, and then, as far as the trunk goes, we're going to go up to... And then I'm gonna go here, one, up, and then I'm gonna go here, and then up again. And if you can always fly back and just take on take a look at it, and I mean you've got a really wicked looking tree here, and I like this style. It's kind of one of my favorite styles. Um, you know, it's not too boring or whatever. You can even go up a little bit higher if you want. But I mean, you kind of fly up, and well, that's not really the pattern I was looking for. <laughs> Never mind, forget that. But anyways, I mean, you, yeah, you guys get it. You know what I mean? Just you know, look, you know, and just keep practicing. It's completely just random, random blocks. You just kind of place, you know, and see what looks good. And fly back, look at it, remove it, try something else. You know, just okay. And anyways, as far as leaf placement goes, um, I like to just start off with a square on top. And you can kind of work with it from there. Now you know that these leaves do dissolve if you don't have enough wood around them. So I'll go ahead and place something there. And we're just going to make this just a little bit bigger. Because I want this to be kind of a... Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with trees in general. But um, if you've heard, heard of a sleepy hollow tree. Uh, they have the long dangling... Um, leaves and I'm going to kind of go for that fill. It's not necessarily going to be that kind of tree, but um that's kind of the idea I'm going for. So, we're going to add the second layer of leaves and let's go ahead and add the trunk in there just to make sure that they do not dissolve. And I'm going to add a third layer. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you want it to make it, make it look as natural as possible. That doesn't look very natural. We're going to remove that. And let's go ahead and add this out just a little bit further. And now we can go ahead and start adding some dangly leaves. Now, like I said, this is not going to be the best tree. I'm still learning. But, I mean, this is pretty much how I've been doing it um, on some of my worlds. Let's go ahead and, well, yeah, we'll leave that there. Okay. And you want them all to be kind of different or longer than the other. And I know, guys, this is probably starting to look almost like a um, palm tree, but if you just kind of add a few more pieces in there, you see how it starts to develop into some kind of a strange but exotic looking tree. Um, hmm. Put that there. Hopefully they're not dissolved. They won't dissolve. I feel like I'm adding too many leaves, but I kind of want the, you know, the tree to be a lot fuller. So there you go. I mean, yeah. I think it looks pretty pretty good, I guess. I don't know, guys. You tell me what you think. That's kind of strange, but... Yeah, we'll kind of 
add a few more in here. That way it doesn't look so thin. Um, more in there. There we go. Maybe one in there. There we go. It looks a lot better. Alright guys, so tree is done. We'll probably add a few more leaves in later, but let's go ahead and move on to the second feature of our backyard build. And we want to go ahead, or what I would like to add, is a water feature. And with the water feature, I mean like just something small, like a pond or something like that. And we're just going to go ahead and make a completely random shape here in the ground. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, you just make it however you want. Uh, let's see, well maybe that's too close to the tree. Okay, and I'm doing it right under the, the tree here because I think that'll look good. Um, that is a really random shape and we'll just leave it like that. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I chose gravel as a really cool block to kind of place, you know, randomly around this pond because I think it looks really good. Um, we'll go even add some here and then we'll add a little bit here. Pretty much almost around the entire pond. So yeah, I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay, and I'm missing, am I missing some pieces? I feel like I'm stuck. I was stuck in the tree. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, something like that. I'll go ahead and add the gravel here as well. Um, hey, that looks actually better. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, mistakenly placed block, but it came out to be good. <laughs> so anyways, and then on the bottom here, I guess we can go ahead and leave it dirt for now. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do the mossy cobblestone because I think that'll look pretty good. And let's see. Let me go ahead and just fill that in really quick. Alright, so we have our mossy cobblestone in there. It looks kind of weird right now, but that's fine because we're going to add water on top of it. We're going to get our water bucket. But there you go, you have a cool looking little pond, and you may not want to add this, but I always like to add a piece of glowstone in the center there, so that way at night, when it lights up, it looks pretty good. So, um, Now, secondly, I want to go ahead, go ahead and add a little bit more greenery, so I'm going to go ahead and use, let's see, we're going to use some more leaves, and then I'm going to need another, some more logs, so uh, let's go ahead and we're going to put some logs here and that's because we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make some some bushes here on the side I think that looks pretty good and then let's see what else can we add over here oh yeah we can even add a little bit of wheat um, it's not supposed to be wheat but we'll just pretend it's um, some kind of fancy grass or something just something to like make you know kind of spice it up and make it look good um, I would use some um, sugar cane unfortunately but Right now I'm on iOS and it crashes the game, so hopefully they get that update update out soon because that really sucks. Um, so you can just kind of add, well, I didn't mean to do that, but we'll see how that looks with some flowers. I don't really like using flowers for some reason, I don't know why, but if you guys want, I'll just, I'll leave like one or two in there. Won't hurt anything, I guess. But there you go. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. And like, like I said, it brings a lot to the yard. You can even add like a small little, um, like a little seating area. Uh, where are the, there you go. Okay. And we'll just add, let's see how, um, we'll put it right about here. Not there. And then, go put some signs on the side. And then we'll go ahead and make a little lamp because I think that'll look nice too. I'm probably getting a little carried away, but I just love doing this stuff. It's just so fun. Um, but there you go. You have a nice little backyard oasis or whatever you want to call it. A nice little hangout. You can even probably build like a little grill over here. Why not? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to build a little grill. Um... What? How do you build a grill? Uh, I'll use this. Oh yeah, and a furnace. So I'll use a furnace. I think I've seen something built like this before. Is it going to be too close? I'll just, I'm going to build it right here. Completely random. I'm just going to build it right here. So I'll put the furnace down. That might be too close. Okay. Put a furnace here. 
put some uh, bricks on the side. I think I need to add it all the way back here too. Um, man, I don't remember. It's been so long. Um, like that, I think. That. That. No, I can't place. I can't place a, um, a trap door. Why? That's weird. Come on, update. This sucks. I mean, any, either way, though, you guys get what it's supposed to be. And we'll go ahead and add some gravel there. You know, like some random spots of gravel. Because that's what the grill is on. I think that looks... I think that looks pretty good. Something like that. So, I mean, there you go. Alright, guys. So, there you go. There's your backyard oasis. And hopefully you guys did like this build and hopefully you guys like these ideas so if you guys did enjoy this please make sure to leave a like down below and go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know you did so all right guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time